Emily Carr's The House of All Sorts, Chapter 12, Cold Sweat. His hand trembled. So did his voice. You will leave the door, you will leave the door of your flat unlocked tonight so that I should reach the phone? Certainly. He went to the door, stood there, clinging to the knob as if he must hold on to something. Beautiful night, he said, and all the while he was turning up his coat collar because of the storming rain outside. He went into the night. I closed the door. The knob was wet with the sweat of his hand. Bump, 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 and a curse. I ran out and looked over the rail. He was rubbing his shins. That pesky cat, I trod on her. He cursed again. He loved that cat. I heard him for half an hour calling among the wet bushes, Puss, puss, poor puss. Maybe that mother cat knew his mind needed to be kept busy and was hiding just to occupy him. I was just turning in when he came again. She's all right. You have had word? I'm so glad. The cat, I mean he said, glowering at me. She was not hurt when I trod on her. Shan't sleep tonight, not one wink. But if I should not hear your phone, would you call me? Leave your window open so I shall hear the ring? All right, all right, I'll call you. I'm sure to hear if you don't. Thanks awfully. The telephone did not ring. In the morning, he looked worse. He came up and sat by the phone, scowling at the instrument as if it were to blame. At last, he found the courage to ring the hospital. After a terse sentence or two, he slammed the receiver down and sat staring. That your porridge burning? Yes, he rushed down the stair and returned immediately with the black smoking pot in his hand. If it were not Sunday, I'd go to the office. Hang, I'll go anyhow. Better stay near the phone. Why not a hot bath? Splendid idea, but the phone? I'll be here. No sooner was he in the tub than the message came. You are wanted on the phone, I shouted through the two doors. Take it, he sounded as if he were drowning. I was down again in a moment. A boy, both doing well. Dead stillness. By and by, I went down. He was skimming the cream off the milk jug into the cat's dish. The hair stuck damp down on his forehead. His cheeks were wet. Thank God I was in the tub. I could not have stood it. I should never have thought of asking how she, they, were doing. Realization of the plural clicked. A switch that lit up his entire being.